So now we're going to talk about site planning. The site planning exam is fairly straightforward in the sense that really anything that can be construed as part of site planning and site design uh, is open for question on this particular exam. Uh, so given that, there's a lot of overlap with other exams, PPP, construction documents and services, uh, even um, uh, building design uh, in terms of soils. So there's a number of overlaps on those other elements. It's a little different. Each one of the exams has its own take, its own agenda on these issues, but uh, you should definitely be thinking about how all of these things overlap and looking for information in, in all of the different areas. The uh, one difference, PPP, is really more focused on site design from a planning standpoint where uh, site planning, even though it says planning, is really sort of more focused on the actual design issues, the, the thing that's actually getting designed and built. PPP might focus a little bit more on feasibility, whereas site planning will probably focus more on the physicality of it. Uh, but otherwise, there's a lot of overlap between these. Site planning has a multiple choice aspect and a vignette aspect, and the vignette one is actually pretty integral to this process. But like all the vignette, uh, it's, it's a, has its own uh, sets of so issues. There's a lot of overlap, but there's also a lot of unique aspects of site planning. Uh, and it's a, a great way to sort of dive in to start thinking about all the different issues, uh, getting a project rolling, uh, and what the site itself is going to tell us about the design.